In this video, I will show you on how you can create a word search puzzle for Amazon KDP. I'm going to explain on how you can create a word search puzzle book using BookBowl so that even if you don't have any experience, you will know exactly how to get started after watching this video. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, click the link down below to sign up for a free trial. There will be a discount code for you, but we're going to talk more on that later. Let's first of all introduce BookBolt. So to come to BookBolt, you're going to come on BookBolt.io. Okay, BookBolt is an absolutely amazing software. Okay, BookBolt basically provides you with a lot of things. Okay, so what are those things basically allows you to create and publish any type of handwritten material like it could be a journal it could be a storybook coloring book you know whatever you desire it's one of the best book making softwares out there and you can also see find best selling books and jump on hot trends before anyone else it's directly affiliated with amazon's kdp books so yeah that's how you can gather some information and all that and we're going to be talking about all of that in great detail okay now basically to start things off what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and sign in okay so you're going to start your three-day free trial or whatever you want and then you're just going to log in and once you do that you're going to head to a page like this now once you come over here and this might be a bit confusing because you're going to be wondering how will this help me with books this is only the research center okay you're going to want to go to the create center over here where it's going to say book Bowl studio okay and once you're over here, you're going to click on the BookBowl Studio where it's going to redirect you to the actual BookBowl Studio where you're going to get, you know, a blank canvas where you're actually going to start making all the fun things about your, you know, basic word search. Now, when it comes to creating a, you know, word search puzzle, what we're going to want to do is obviously we're going to make a new project. So you're going to come into the top left section over here and click on new project. And once you do that, we're going to stay over here where it's going to give us all these settings. So here it says project type, paperback, cover and interior, etc., etc. So obviously hardcover is, you know, the books with hardcovers, you know, the solid wooden locking uh, novels. The paperback is obviously the one with which have paper covers. So I'm going to go with this. And uh, then there's, you know, your project name and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, call it word search. Now, once we do that, there's obviously different types of trim sizes and all that you can choose from. Now, obviously, you must do your research on trim sizes and all. Now, the default trim size for books is 6 by 9 inches, but you can go with any other trim size that you want. Like, let's say I'm going to go with 7.5 to 9.25, which, in my opinion, works best for when it comes to word searches. So, once you do that, there's your interior and paper type. So you can go with any of these. Obviously, a word search won't have a lot of coloring. So I'm going to go with black and white interior with a white paper. Then, obviously, there's different things like page count. I'm just going to go with 40 for now, just to give you an example. Then there's bleed or no bleed. Now, basically, with or without bleed has its you know perks. Now, bleed is basically a grid that they make. It's an imaginary grid that they make around your blank canvas. Okay, and what that grid does is it allows you to see where to keep your, you know, editorial data inside when you're making your books. Okay, because a bleeds grids are cut out. Okay, when they're getting printed. So it gives you a sense of reality on where to keep your things inside the page. Okay, so that's basically with or without bleed. It gives you a sense of reality with the grids and stuff. And uh, then obviously there's different types of things, you know, paging style and all. And we're going to be getting straight into that. Now, once we've done this, we're going to click on create project. And once it creates a, you know, proper and well project for us, what we're going to do from here is obviously see our template. So as you can see, this is our template for our paper book cover. And here's the back cover. Okay. So here's the front cover. Here's the back page. Then moving on, what you can do is here it says there's different you know blank pages over here so we're gonna go to one of these blank pages as so and now you're probably wondering where is the word search puzzle i can't see anything yeah you're right you can't see anything so let me show you how you're gonna redirect yourself to the word search puzzle so we're gonna come here where it says page templates okay and you're gonna open this up 
and you're going to come here and click on pro only. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've clicked on pro only, which means you will need a pro or premium account. Okay. Without that, you will not be able to access this. Okay. So again, check the link in my description, which I'll talk about more in the end of the video, but yeah, that's how you're going to get the premium account. Now, once you've selected pro only, you're going to come down here where it says word search, you know, clearly. So we're going to click on it. And now, as you can see, it starts asking us on what pages do we want to apply the word search on. Now, basically, uh, let's say I want to go with one, two, three, four. I'm going to go with four words. Okay. Now, once we go with four words, uh, four words, I'm saying four pages. Let's say I'm going to go with four pages. I'm going to click on next. Now, once you do that, it's giving you a lot of settings and options, right? Now, basically, this is where we're going to want to, you know, get a bit technical because this is an important part of the, you know, design bit. Now, first of all, there's the margin top, margin right, margin bottom, margin left. Okay. Now, these are basically the spaces between the margins of your page. Okay. So I'm just going to keep this default. I'm not going to mess around with this. Now, there's basically the different fonts that you can choose. So this is the font for the normal page, which is Avaya Libre. I'm going to change it and go with something, you know, more professional. So Adamina looks pretty professional. I'm going to go with that. Now, once you go with your font, then there's font sizes. Okay. So font size matters a lot as well. Okay. So please do make sure to choose the best font size for yourself. So the normal font for a 60 would be good. Then there's the font styling. Okay. So make sure that the font style works best with, you know, the type of font that you're choosing. So I'd say dark would work best. And then the word font, which is going to be in the word search needs to be bold. So I'm going to go with a good bold font. Anton looks like a good font. So I'm going to go with that. And once you've gone with your fonts, now we've chosen four pages. So here it says max words per page four. Okay. If you go above that, obviously it's going to give you an error. So if I chose four pages and that's max words per page, that it's four, I'm going to go with max words per page 10. Okay. So, or you know what, for this example, let's just go five, just so we get a general idea of how things are going to work. Then there's diagonal words. You can obviously choose these settings. You know, these are basically the paging styles. You can uh, make the words diagonal, make the words reverse if you want to. That's totally dependent on you. And it's obviously to up the difficulty level if you want to. Then there's the clue types. You could give linear clue types. You could give columns. Obviously, the stroke width, solution highlighter, all these things that you can mess around with. Cell color. Obviously, for font colors, black. I'm going to go with the white cell color. And once you do that, here it's going to say solution placement. The best place, in my opinion, would be after all puzzle pages. Okay. Then, uh, obviously, it says use random words if my file does not meet the requirements. I would always keep this on because let's say your file has any type of error. This will make up for it. So, yeah, it just works pretty good. Then there's the bleed mode. There's clue word sort. I'm going to keep these default. Okay. Don't mess around with these. Now here it says, take into account, make sure all words are in one column words limited to 20 characters. When choosing number of puzzles with solutions checked, make sure you have number of pages needed example, 50 puzzles plus 50 solutions will be needing a hundred pages in the project. Now, the final thing is, you know, you're pretty much wondering how are we actually going to add the words for the word search? That's why they've given choose CSV file over here. So you're going to add an Excel file to basically add that for yourself. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to come down here where it says example. And when you open this example up, you're going to see the type of word search, you know, template that you're going to make for yourself. So once you open this example file, look at this, it gives you something like this. Now, obviously this is an Excel file and you can see lumber, fly, snow, jail, surround, reply, abaft, can descend and gather array. You, you get different words in different like uh, sections. So we get the point that this is how we're going to want to position our words. Now to expand the amount of words in the file, you can actually do some fun stuff with it. Now, obviously this is just an example. So I'm not just going to go ahead and paste this onto my book bolt. We're going to get a bit technical. We're going to get, uh, you know, experimental. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead over here and head to Google and over here, 
we're gonna head over to wordplays.com okay now you're probably wondering why am i taking you to this website now wordplays.com is an amazing website that basically allows us to find the best words for word search okay it gives us the best words and it just gives us a great list of it so you're gonna come over to word search puzzles okay or you could you know check any other of these out if you want to okay but uh, yeah the best thing in my opinion would be word search puzzles or you can just go with word search where it allows you to basically find different types of clues and answers for word searches but yeah uh, for now, I'm just going to go with word search puzzles. Okay. Now, once you go with this, as you can see, you can start getting these. So these are basically your word search puzzles that they give up for you. Now you're going to go over to the left hand side. Okay. And over here, they're going to give you, you know, today's word search, random puzzle and all these things. So you can obviously slowly start choosing one of these to get the whole word search list if you want to. But obviously, for better working, we're just going to come here and we're going to click on word search as so. Now, once you click on word search from up here, you're going to come down, okay, where it's going to say make word search puzzles, okay? And you can obviously choose all of these words if you want to. And you can also separate these answers for yourself. So you can, you know, add comma separated answers and all those things. And uh, that's obviously in the case that you actually want to use these words. If you don't want to use these words, as obviously not necessary, you can just create your own words. And the best thing about this is that you can print all these words by yourself in the easiest and most simplest way possible. And finding these word searches is really easy. You can click on random puzzle, you can go on today's word search. And you can start getting these different types of answers. So, you know, you get clues like chart school, desk work, marker, paper pen. And obviously, they're hidden somewhere over here, right? So, basically, now that we've, you know, understood the depth of that and how categories on wordplay really helps us, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, talk in more detail about how wordplay is actually going to help us into finding more words for our word search. Now, again, obviously, just go on word search. And once you go on word search on the left hand side in this solve word search puzzles place, you're going to find this. It says get puzzle list. OK, so obviously you're going to click on that. And what that will do is it will allow you to get a whole puzzle list. OK, and uh, you can get a puzzle list, you know, recently added by different users or you can get a puzzle list same by author and a whole lot of other. OK, so let's say I'm going to go with the recently added and you can start seeing that this recently added author has a lot of other word search puzzles as well. OK, and you can scour through them if you want to. They give you obviously one of the best words that you can find over there and you can also search a category. OK, so when you click on this get puzzles list you can you know there's get puzzles over here you can search a term that you want to get a puzzle list for so for example let's say i want to find a category that i want to add in my excel file so now there's different categories to choose from such as you know literature horror newspaper tv series so let's say you know once we are here in get puzzles list we're gonna come here and i'm gonna write Horror. I'm going to click on find by term and obviously according to that, there we go. So they have a horror word search as so. So upon clicking a category, you will find that words to find cannot be highlighted and copied. So click print. It's right next to the find tab. It's right here. So let's say I'm going to choose horror. I'm going to click on print. And once you do that, basically, after clicking print, check the box that says open a new window or tab and click PDF. OK, so basically check this and click on PDF. Now, once you click on that, it's going to open up this page for you, you know, and it's really simple to work with this because it's a PDF. And once you're in the PDF, you can finally highlight the words and copy it into a notepad. So open your notepad and paste the copy word. So basically start copying these words as so 
copy and then obviously we're going to come here we're going to open up a notepad so once your notepad is open just come here and paste your words as so obviously make sure to separate and segregate your words as so as so so you know you have an easier time copying it into your excel file because excel obviously as you saw previously it only takes words in vertical input okay so once we have it over here i'm just going to go ahead and save this and for now i'm going to close it so basically once we have done all of that you know highlighted the words copied it into a notepad and pasted the words into a notepad basically you're going to sort them out okay word per word and in sections of 10. so one section should actually have 10 words and it should be separated with gaps so for 30 words there should be a total three groups containing 10 words so obviously i'm going to use some of these words over here already so there's 10 words over here 10 words over here and as you can see, they have a separation between them, obviously. So really easy stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the words that I have. So I'm going to choose the first 10 words. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to choose my 10 words. I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm going to come to my Excel file. I'm going to copy this, paste it, and look at that. So basically, it adds all the words as so. So basically, you get the point. Now, adding the wor words to Excel is a bit of a trick, okay? So once you've added your words in segregation as so, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all the words and select copy. Go over to the this Excel file that you downloaded. Now, before pasting the words, make sure to go down one space between the word above so that there's a gap between original words and newly added words. Now when you're adding it you're going to come here and there you go you're not going to control v it because that will mess it up so do remember to add it like this okay with your right click now once your words are pasted go ahead and save your file okay and once you save your file you're going to keep this open you're going to keep it here you can close the notepad file if you want to or we're going to keep the excel file open then we're going to come over back to this page over here and you're going to go back to your BookBolt Studio, okay? Now, once you do this, obviously, as I stated before, check all the four boxes, use random words, include solutions, match puzzles, solution page numbers, page numbers, all that. So, let's see how many uh, things we actually have. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, and 70. So, we have 70 word searches, basically. So that means we're going to have 70 solutions. No, that means we have seven word searches. Sorry. We have seven word searches, which means we have seven solution pages. So yeah, we're going to need 14 pages. So max words per page. I'm going to go with 10 because obviously we have 10 words and I'm going to click on change pages and I'm going to choose seven as so. Now, once you've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to go on choose CSV file as so. Now, you're probably wondering, where do we get the word search file? Now, it's going to be over here in your downloads. And you're going to have to make sure that it's a CSV file. Now, as you can see, it's already a CSV file right now. But if your file is not a CSV file, you can just come here, go on file, go on export, go to change file type and choose CSV as the main file. So you get the point. That's how you're going to do it in CSV. But yeah, once we do this, I'm going to copy that, paste it here. So as you can see, it has 70 words max words per page 10 we have seven pages so once you do this what we're going to do now is we're going to click on next then you're going to choose the solution pages which are right after the question pages and you're going to click on submit now once we click on submit obviously we're pretty much good to go and look at this we are in business so you can see the words down here and you can see the word search up here how amazing and incredible is that you know so I'm just going to come over to the page seven to, you know, quickly go through with this. So as you can see on the seventh page, you're going to be able to see the words I added as well. So you can see dead, scary, mask, knife, creepy, dark, blood. You can see all of those here. And as you can see, I can also spot a few words. So here's mask, you know, I'm pretty sure dead's somewhere in there as well. There's blood. So you get the point. Now, 
if you want the answers as well, you can just come up here to the solutions page. Let's say I'm going to go to this eight page. Now look at this. You can start getting your solutions right here. And after submitting the puzzle that you created, you will wait for a few minutes until the file is processed clearly. And once it's processed, the loading bar or the save bar up here will turn green and you'll see download this document. OK, now, basically, to download this document of yours, what you're going to need to do is obviously you're going to come up here and click on download. Now, once you click on download, let's say we want to download this as a you know whole project. And we want to download it in a digital form. So I'm going to go with this. Okay. We're not going to go with any other solution because in digital form, this process works best. So as you can see, BookBolt is putting finishing touches in your project. Now, once this is obviously done, what it's going to do is it's going to make a zip file for you. And in that zip file, you're going to see two pages, the cover page, and then the interior page. And in the interior page, obviously you can start finding all of the necessities. Now, obviously, it takes a few seconds. There we go. So there's our word search. We're going to go into the interior and look at this. It's in the best quality you can find it in. And if we keep on scrolling down, there you go. You can start seeing the solutions to these word plus puzzles as well. So, you know, really amazing stuff. So, yeah, that's basically what we did. We used book bold and we used wordplay to basically create something amazing and then you can also use these word search puzzles and you can make books out of them multiple books out of them because clearly you're not like thinking of these words yourself you're just taking it off of wordplay which is totally you know non-copyrighted and free so you know you're not really doing anything wrong and you're gonna make passive income off of these books because people actually buy these you know so really incredible stuff and uh, this is basically book bold this is how you're gonna work with this and yeah, that's pretty much about it. And if you want to try out BookBolt yourself, I will leave my personal link down below, which will get you a three day free trial. And once you're signing in, you can use my coupon code creator 20 on the premium account to get 20 percent off. Again, I repeat, it's creator 20 C R E A T O R 20. It's going to give you a 20 percent discount. And obviously, after you're finished with a three day trial and you want to make a puzzle, you're going to need the premium account. So, you know, why not just get a 20 percent discount using my coupon code? So, yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future related to BookBolt or any other software, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Until then, that was all from me. I hope you all keep having a great day and I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.